All right, good morning, folks. Welcome back to See Us For Cars. Yeah, she's still on the hoist, but uh, we're nearing the end here. Uh, I left it up so I would be reminded to do the exhaust quick, so I'm gonna do that, and I just gotta fill the transmission back up with uh, some ATF. Then, I guess, uh, we're on the line lock. Line lock came in. I got slicks in. I got thermostat housing I gotta do, and then we can throw in some uh, coolant, make sure there's no leaks, fire it up, and uh, maybe go and, and see what you'll do. But uh, I'm gonna start by doing this exhaust, getting this all up to schnuff and back together. And I'm gonna fill that transmission up. So I am going to get at it this morning. Here we go. So this is the main thing with this exhaust, my X-pipe. X-pipe. And this, this piece here is a little begoobered. It's supposed to look like that. Begoobered. It's a little pinched and wallered. So I'm gonna spend a little bit trying to fix that a little bit because it's a fairly bad exhaust leak, but I don't know how good I'm going to get it. We'll try with a torch though and see what we can do. So, that's still very hot. An ever so slightly less goobered. Nice. I'm going to throw this in and then we're going to fill up that transmission with oil. Alright, this is always my least favorite job. So, it takes about three quarts of ATF. Uh, we're gonna use the old suck gun here. I put down a piece of cardboard because I am certainly going to make a mess everywhere. There's just, I'm sure you can buy like a, a drill pump that actually works or not make a mess so bad all over your exhaust. It's gonna smoke everywhere, but if there is. I don't have that way. So it takes three quarts, pretty much just go until it uh, runs out of the uh, fill hole. I'm making my way downtown, driving fast. Am I? How do. Oh, you just pop. Looks like a murder scene. Oh goodness gracious. That's all right. This, it, it, it works. We are getting fluid into the transmission. Ugh. It's gushing out the back. Ay, ay, ay. I think this should be just about it. And then I'll get a light and a rag. And... Oh, yeah. That's pretty indicative that it's full enough. So, I'm going to clean this up. And then we're gonna drop it down and put some coolant in it and a thermostat in housing. So everything's, it's all, it's all good. Don't worry guys, I was able to get a pail. 
zero miss. So that's good. Okay, so right, right there is the fill hole. And it's just kind of dripping out about now. And the transmission is on an angle, so I am going to uh, button it up and call it good. It's just a slow drip. It's not gonna be too full or nothing. So, and like I said, it's no mess, no mess. Alrighty. <clears throat> Everything is buttoned up down below finally. Should not need to lift the car back up ever. Knock on wood. No wood in here. All right. Uh, let's change this thermostat housing. This is going to be a wrench job. I have tools everywhere. Half inch or seven sixteenths. Feels like a half. Well, a ratchet and gear wrench fit in here. Not well. But. I should do the one. Upper. And then. A little extension, I might get this one. Seems like no mass. Which probably means something somewhere. Maybe. Look at that, eh? Right on. Probably gonna have to loosen that. I had a 516th on a not driver. Yeah. So, I actually don't know about this thermostat. It's a 180 degree thermostat, but lately the car was only getting to 160. So, do I keep it in? I think I have another one, but it's actually a 160 degree. One's high flow, high flow thermostat. I don't like that one, so we're going to keep the one I got. The pointy end always goes towards red. All right. There's a bunch of old gasket material in there. That I'm going to have to clean off. So I'm going to do that. And then, where do you think I put the new housing? Boy, I got stuff everywhere. It's bad this time. Hmm. It's not in the box of goods I thought it would be. <clears throat> Oh, it's right here, right where I left it. Yep. 
Here it is. I don't, I don't know. It looks okay. Is it? I don't know. Is this gonna be the, the best quality? I don't, I don't know. But. I guess I will clean that off, throw this one in. <clears throat> so I will see you in a jiff, in a jiffy. Jiffy, jiffy lube. That just looks so much better. I think. So, up here in Canada, you can't just put water in because shit will freeze in the winter. So, we're putting concentrate in. I'll put this whole jug in. And then I will fill this jug up completely with water. Completely? Completely with water. And then with the, I have another jug. I'll put half in this and keep half in that and then fill both halfway back up with water. And that'll be perfect. All right, let's spill it everywhere. Be really unfortunate if, uh, yep. See, I never know which way the uh, Pepcock goes on the drain. Which would be hugging the rad or all the way out. It appears the answer is all the way out. Probably just common sense. If you were to look at one, it would make sense, but. I'm gonna go fill this with water. Keep going. I need to put my seats back in because I have my seats out. Put that drive shaft flat. Freaking a dig. I can't talk today. Throw that drive shaft loop in. So I had to pull the seats. And uh, I should vacuum first. This is my first car. I don't know if them seats have been out since high school. I'll let your imagination cover that one. I'm gonna go put some water in this thing. All right, this is the first time I've sat in this car since we started this whole thing. I haven't touched the clutch yet. We're gonna get through though. All right. Okay, I guess that doesn't matter. Get it started. Um, both, and I'm gonna lock tight them because I find that they like to back off even with lock washers. Way too much. That's perfect. Really? Impact. Ugh. So once I get this in, I'm just gonna feel the clutch, make sure that feels fine. I'm gonna fire it up and make sure coolant goes down and what not.
Whoops, that's fine. I sure don't make that come out ever, ever slow. Those aren't going nowhere. And then my very custom shift boot. That is always a giant pain. Robertson, I need Robertson. I should probably wipe up that. Loctite I spilt also. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna wipe this up. Okay. I don't know how well I'll be able to feel. Excuse me. Breakfast just ain't sitting like it should. All right, I think I'm gonna touch the clutch with my hand first. It doesn't feel like anything's happening. Oh, that's nice. That's what you want. Just to feel nothing. I think it's there. I think it's just at the end. Luckily, I said we wouldn't be going back up again, so that was a lot. Alright, stay tuned as I lift the car back up and figure out my clutch adjustment. So, that was the absolute worst. The, uh, there's basically there's a quadrant they call it, that the clutch cable rides on, to the clutch pedal, and the cable came off. So I'm under the dash and fighting and I had the car up and down a bunch of times. Had to loosen off the cable down below on the clutch fork, get it on to the quadrant, back underneath, adjust it back where it was. It's self-adjusting, so then you just pump the clutch a couple times. Feels okay. So, let's uh, spark. Why? Do I have an interior light on? No? Okay, well that's fine. Might be the radio clock. So, we're ready to fire it up for the first time. I mean, I know it's gonna fire up fine. We didn't do anything really there. We're just gonna make sure that, what did I put on my half inch wrenches I was just using? We're just gonna make sure nothing leaks, that thermostat opens up, fill her up with coolant. And, uh, 
Then we're going to take it for a drive and make sure that clutch does clutch things, transmission does sh transmission things, no crazy noises, and how for a TENS feel. That is the plan. I think I was going to adjust this also. I think my choke kind of lost adjustment. Maybe. It is quite closed. We're going to watch that. I'm going to get the keys. Battery is usually pretty good, but it has been sitting now unplugged for quite a while. So, hopefully, just a charged up battery is going to have enough with a little boost because I don't have a boost pack, which might be smart to get. One day. All right. Yep, thermostat just opened. 
sudden my gauge is working too. Four tens are definitely a lot, uh, a lot shorter. We'll go straight towards the highway first, because that's the smart thing to do. Put on my wallet with me, so let's not get pulled over. under the car is so much better. I'm glad we did that. What am I stuck on here? There we go.
these boots are way too wide. Well guys, she runs mint and four tens made a huge difference on the acceleration of this car. Crazy. But uh, we knew that, didn't we? But uh, that'll probably just do it for this, this video. I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna have to get in here early and uh, line lock. Line lock and then balance or mountain balance some slicks and uh, pack some stuff and we'll be ready to go. So uh, stay tuned. We are getting very close to Miles of Mayhem, so we're just going to keep her trucking. We'll see you next Tuesday.